Bush. Hi, Tyler. Welcome to the Dave Ramsey Show. Hi, Dave. It's an honor talking to you. You too, sir. How can I help? I got in a uh, situation in April of last year. I was coming up on a layoff uh, at my job in Pasigola, Mississippi, and uh, the railroad called me up in Baton Rouge, and they offered me a job. And I was only making 50000 a year at the time of the uh, layoff. And, you know, God blessed me with this opportunity over here at the railroad. I had $30,000 worth of debt at the time. I, I eliminated that within the first four months. What'd you make? As a, how much you make? I, I was making, um, I was making $50,000 a year back home at my last job. Yeah, yeah. And, and when I got the opportunity to come to the railroad, I make, I made about 100000 Oh, you, you know, doubled from, your money. Wow. Yes, sir. Yeah, you went from being laid off to doubling your income. Look at you. Ding, ding. Thank you, God. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, God. That's right. So, uh, my problem is, uh, you know, um, my wife is disabled, so she can't move over here with me. So what I did was Why? I... You can't, uh, be, you can't be disabled in Baton Rouge? Well, you know, she needs uh, her mom and dad to, you know, help her out, you know, and to get around and all that stuff, you know, while I'm at work. So that's, that's kind of the issue we're facing. What's the nature it's of when, her disability? Um, you know, it's like a... It's a brain disorder type thing it's mm. like a neurological thing mm. so she can't drive or anything or get the kids to school or anything like that mm. but what i'm getting at is you know it's um it's it's really good to have the support back home so she couldn't move it with me at the time so what i ended up doing was uh i found a van on craigslist uh traded the llama or in a case of beer for it and uh you traded what <laughs> A llama? Right. Did you say right, a yeah, llama? A uh, trade of a lawnmower and a case of beer. A lawnmower. Uh, oh, okay. A lawnmower. Moved into the van because I didn't want to pay. I'm on, I'm in debt at that point, right? So yeah. I didn't want to move it. I didn't want to move into uh, an and also have pay off. The so. I Basically, we've been living in my van for the past year. Down by the river. Dead. The Sorry. van down by the river, huh? Pretty, pretty much, <laughs> man. <laughs> oh, you're incredible, man. You are really ru you're roughing it in order to get your family straightened out. I'm proud of you. Unbelievable, man. So, uh, I've got uh, about $95,000. What were you doing when you lived there before? I, I'm an electrician. Okay. And the railroad doesn't have jobs there? No, not really, no, sir. Okay. I, I kind of like, I would look for an option where I didn't make 50000 but I went back home. I'd like to make 75000 and then I'm going back home and getting out of the van down by the river as soon as I can. <laughs> if I'm you, you know? Uh, I right. mean, you, you know, you're, you're willing to do it. I mean, that's very manly on your part. I appreciate you, you know, sacrificing for the good of your family. Um, I'm not sure. Well, i got to answer the truth, truthful question. I'm not doing that. Um, I wouldn't do that. But if you're willing to do it, it's not a bad thing. Wow. Wow. M-I-Z-Z-O-U.